You wanted to stay? Really? Yes. But don't worry. I hope you understand it's because I don't have the money to take you to school, right? Yes. Yeah. You see, but it's only that I don't have the money to take you to school. Kama kungo kwa namtu analipata shule, inge kwa beta. Waja ni kupongeze, wakazi jema ayamarwa. Na didi uongeze, kongera ya ngupoke. Ni kweli ni mali umetuto, waja kwa tunaja kukupa. Nomba mola kuongeze, takacho na chwa kupe. What's up guys? It's Irene underscore Jeb. Guys, if you are watching for the first time, kindly consider subscribing. So today, actually, my cousin is leaving. Edu. So you have I am Marwa t-shirt. It seems you love t this t-shirt so much because every time we need to go anywhere, you must wear it. I don't know. <laughs> you love it? Travel commando. Wow. Sorry? Oh, it's nice. Oh, you've decided actually you love skating a lot. I hope you'll go and take care on the road. Don't uh, go and be careless and then you fall down. So, I hope you are happy for this, Edu. Yes. You are very happy. Do you have the kiwi and the brush? Guys, do you think it's going to fit him? <laughs> it looks big, Edu. Number eight. Oh, it's See the bar, class nine. At the class nine, Daddy, we don't have class Daddy. nine. So, guys, hey, let me show you the time. Wait, 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 guys. It's fifteen thirteen. You have been taking lunch since one p.m. Yeah. What What is happening? <laughs> yeah. It seems you you didn't want to go, Edu. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, he has been eating for three hours, and you know I didn't want to be like the one pushing him. You need to finish and go. You need. I didn't want it to be like that. He had all the time to eat slowly, but I realized, Edu, I realized that when you when you noticed schools are opening on fifteenth, you felt bad. But don't worry because you will be coming back uh, when school closes, right? Yes. Yeah. So. For me, actually, when I just get a good job, I'll just uh, take you in again. And no, you've forgotten this. No, no, just put it here so that you don't forget. When I, guys, for real, when I'm financially stable, I'll take him uh, in and actually start uh, paying for his education, like fully support uh, my cousin. And you know, Kayla has been crying <laughs> in the morning when. Uh, we told uh, my cousin that he's supposed to go so that I can uh, start school on Monday. <laughs> my little girl cried a lot. And how do you feel that most of the time they think that you are <laughs> their brother? <laughs> Does that make you, uh, do you, do you feel funny? Yes. That they think uh, you are their brother. <laughs> Actually, is my cousin, but my children they think that he, yeah, is their brother. <laughs> That's one thing that I always um, find it funny, and at the same time, I love it because Mama, when we stay with him and he's very comfortable with us, you know, it's I feel like it's a blessing to me because each and every time he closes school, he closes today, the next day is yeah, staying with us. When school opens, he goes back to the grandmother. And at some point, was it in, when was it in, was it in 2020, 20, 2018, 2019 when I had a job, used to stay with us, yeah, I used to stay with us when the job uh, ended, you had to go, 2019, or 20, uh, 2019, I think it was around that time, I wasn't able, after the job ended, I was not able to actually support him. But nowadays we just do like um, where we can, like we support where we can. But definitely when I'm financially stable, even from YouTube, you will come and I will cut off for everything. But 
Normally we just support you normally. Even now when you go to school, if there is anything that he lacks, he always uh, tells us. And if we have money, we support him. So we want to take him um, to the stage or we want to wait. Okay, I'm supposed even to call for the car, which is actually taking him. We have to book it from town. So guys, Ocha tuende ni ala fata rudi. Ah, funga tu ya katikati peke yake. Yeah, so guys, I'm telling my son to close so that because he has decided not to uh, go with us. So today we we did a lot of laundry, and guys, the only uh, scaring part here <laughs> are the uniforms because we only have tomorrow. At least for those, they can get to dry there a little bit. Uh, I think lighter, but for this, oh my God. I just hope they'll be, they'll get to dry. And it rained a lot today, a lot, yes. a lot. So Kayla, yeah. let's take a do. So guys, uh, when it rains, this is one of the problems that we normally have. You see, being in an area where it's not a dry land, like we have a lot of water, most of the time it doesn't drain. And another disadvantage, you see uh, this honeysuckle truck. One of the main uh, disadvantage of a lot of rains in regions like this is that uh, the septic tanks normally get uh, full, like really, really, really quick. In fact, uh, during rainy seasons, uh, which is May, June, July, August there. It's a lot of uh, problem, especially if you have, or when you are constructing your house and then you didn't employ a qualified engineer to actually like have a good plan for the septic um, part, it will be a problem. Because what, what I actually noted, uh, for people who have rental apartments and when it comes to the structure of the septic, like where the waste goes, if it is like straight like this, most of the time you'll find um, the waste coming back to the house. But if it was constructed in such a way that its lands are like this, like these are the houses from up there and then the septic down there, most of the time it won't like go back uh, to the house. Like you have to get a qualified engineer for you to be on the safer side and also for your tenants to be on the safer side so guys uh, i just paid for my cousin for a border border so that they can wait for me there in a stage saseni in a stage which is nearby the highway is i do my vlogs is it vlogs or vlogs whichever the case so it's a beautiful day actually it's uh 3 p.m adding to 4 p.m and most of the people who have lands like this lands like that and you are near a tarmac road you are good to go like you are very very lucky because and actually buying such lands next to tarmac road they're always very expensive unless uh, you buy when there is no road like this at tarmac one then you are good to go like this just finds you you've already bought it you are good to go but for instance someone like me now if maybe i get uh, some money and i want to buy a land especially something like just a land like this you will go deep into your pockets i don't know why it's normally very expensive if they are uh, near roads i don't know especially good roads like this like it just appreciates or shoots up just like that but when the road is not that good like you are in the interior part where the road network is bad maybe you don't have a shopping center you don't have an hospital nearby the land is always very 
very very cheap <laughs> i never understand i never understand these uh, land things and now when it comes to vehicles they deeply depreciate even within a year so you can imagine kindly if you are joining us at this moment don't forget uh, or kindly subscribe and don't forget to turn on uh, the no notification bell and always to say a very big thank you to uh, Team Maro. So my cousin is leaving today and I just pray for him. Like I just want to wish him all the very best. Actually, I, I always take him as my firstborn, yeah. And <laughs> my kids have actually grown knowing that uh, he's their brother because he started uh, staying with us like during holidays when my son was actually like a baby. I think my son was one month old when he started uh, staying with us. In fact, I used to live somewhere there. Just, uh, I don't know how to describe the distance, very few meters there. That was back in 2018. That was the first time that uh, my cousin actually came to, uh, came to stay with us. And since then, since then in 2018, he has been actually coming to stay with us, except for 2019 and part of 2020, where he used to live with us. Because by then, I used to live in uh, Cabernet, now where he is going currently because I used to have some work there so I actually used to cut up for everything pay for his school fees uniforms when they need anything I did that for one year and some few months and the job ended and now <laughs> I didn't have an option but to let him go back to a granny where he stays up to today and now as we moved back to uh, here which is Eldoret and then he has been coming d during uh, holidays like each and every holiday he closes today for instance tomorrow is in uh, my home and one thing that I always noticed about uh, my cousin when it reaches the time to go back he doesn't want to he, re he really doesn't want to but for me for me I understand because at home uh, in granny's place you know he's the only younger one all the other ones are old and now he doesn't have anyone to interact with here yeah, they play a lot with my kids like really really like they give each other company and there is no much stress and i do appreciate uh, that he always loves uh, this place now last uh, last year when he was coming for holiday actually he told me that since he's going to junior secondary he will be because i didn't go for his closing day uh, during that day so he told me uh, they are going to open school on 30th of January and you know last year actually the junior secondary pupils did open school on 30th so me at the back of my mind I've been knowing schools will be opening on 30th of January now <laughs> recently on Monday when I was going to pay for my uh, son's uh, school fees like to clear it I'm seeing junior secondary pupils reporting and I ask is, is it really true that junior secondary are, are opening w with other uh, pupils? And I was told yes. And I came back home and I told my cousin, hey, people are reporting in school. Which school is reporting? No, I'm not. Excuse me. I'm not boarding now. I want to create my videos as I go. So I just want to send you the money. So guys, I'm paying... Uh, my friend here, yeah? I have even forgotten your name. Yeah. I don't know why. Remind me your name. Alan. Oh yeah, Alan. You are done with school. I remember you were in school. Yeah, I'm done. Sawa, sawa. Okay. Oh yeah. So, huh? Oh, okay. Let me go as I finish my video. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not yet. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm good to go. Okay, so let me finish paying and then...
Yeah. So guys, when I came home, I told my cousin, people have already reported for school and we were saying up to that yet. Like, really? Because you know there was no way uh, some others could open on uh, day one and others uh, after one month. So uh, later on, I came to learn that for actually public schools, they will be opening from uh, 15 others like I'm not even sure why my granny had uh, told me 15th and I saw other people opening on the first week. Yeah, this week that we are in, the one that is ending. Anyway, they told me that uh, we should go this week, weekend, and now that's how we learned about him opening <laughs> earlier than expected. And, we, and when he knew about it, he really felt bad. He started having a lot of stress. Like, he, he wasn't himself again. Like, he, he was very sure, very sure he was going to live on uh, maybe 28, 29th there, and not... Ciao. Okay. Sorry, sorry. So I leave him to negotiate with his customer, and then I continue with my uh, vlog. So now, uh, he really felt bad. My cousin really felt bad when he actually got to know that schools were going to be opened earlier than he had expected. He always has this kind of uh, stress when it's time to go back. Like, always, always. He doesn't even eat well. But with, with time, he gets to understand because I also talk to him and I tell him, hey, do. Now, I don't have money where I can actually like promise you that I'm going to sustain your education up to maybe uh, grade 8 or high school. So, I don't want to put myself in a situation where I'll feel bad if I don't deliver it, you know. So, here they are. Edu, you are not happy. <laughs> you wanted to stay. Really? Yes. But don't worry. I hope you understand it's because I don't have the money to take you to school, right? Yes. Yeah. It's only that I don't have the money to take you to school. Kama kumekuwa na mtu analipa ata shule, ingekuwa better. So I'm telling him if there could be someone who actually pays for his school fees and then I stay with him, it would have been better. But anyway, God has a reason. Cindy, you never know. Maybe even after one month when YouTube starts paying me and it becomes constant and I start working hard, I can actually pay, be paying for your school fees. So guys, we are actually waiting for a matatu. A matatu is actually like uh, this kind of matatu, but these are town service and we have others who actually other vehicles, public service vehicles, which are quite, actually goes for a long distance. So I want to call uh, the driver. Yeah, I want to call the driver of the vehicle that we are waiting for. And then I get to know about uh, his timing, you know. So, yeah, yeah, it's calling. So the, the road is really busy, like extremely, extremely busy. People are traveling and it's actually 3.37, 3.37 p.m. Yeah. So in our shopping center, we are actually going to find a lot of, uh, okay, I'm waiting for this call. So I want to go to an m -Pesa shop and withdraw uh, some money and then I give my cousin so that uh, we can be able to pay for the transport, you know. So guys, we are here just chilling and waiting for the um, matatu to come so that it can actually pick my cousin. And then now we can tell him goodbye. And I truly hope that um, 
we are not going to stay here for long because I think actually come with a sweater and you know this weather it has been actually raining so if uh, the driver lied to us that he's actually coming out of uh, town now <laughs> we will be in a big mess because now uh, if it starts raining we are going to freeze you know the fact that he told us that he's coming out of town we decided to come here quickly and then wait for him so that it can uh, he can pick uh, my cousin with that being said guys i am in our shopping center so in this shopping center you can find a salon a butchery a timber yard a butchery is actually where um, they sell meat goat meat Oh, or even uh, cow meat, most likely. But anyway, for pork, it's not that. It's not like something which is very popular. And what else? Hotels, guest house, bars. Yeah, residential areas even, but there are really not so many. For instance, uh, you see these buildings here, yeah, the one which has, um, what do you call that? The one which has uh, this two, two story. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know why when you are explaining it on camera, it doesn't come to the mind. But after you switch off the camera, that's when the correct word comes and you remember. So, except some few uh, residential areas like this and this, that's those are now um, which are near there. I will actually we refer this to an highway or a main road not an highway basically but main road because it leads to so many like you see the cars going to this direction it's town and those going to this other direction it is out of town so they lead to several places several towns several villages that's why you see a lot of um, people also like it's the main main uh, shopping center but for me i live like i love to go through this route up to the end there so there we have you know many people people are not that many yes 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 huh? <laughs> so actually it has been raining you see in my county now where i come from if it rains you won't see something like this to show that it is a dry land so when it rains the ground like accumulates the water and it goes down but here it's not a dry land and that is why you see when it rains you won't see the water going down like it will just be even those who are actually constructing uh, houses to rent you see what they normally do like where i live they first did what you call levelization they put um soil and then they compact it and then now they start building or i don't know if they start and then they level i think they levelized it first because for us uh in that route there where we live in, along that route we are a bit higher so when it rains all the water goes to the road but for our neighbors when it rains the water like stays within the compound a lot and even when you wash and you pour the water you'll find a lot of water like you see where you you just did wash your clothes or anything you just find but if you stay in a dry land in a very very dry land ah uh -uh. yeah i don't know why he stopped i think he thought that you are going no, it doesn't measure anything. It's a camera. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. People are wondering, you know, I noticed that a GoPro is not that popular. Even my my neighbor, he used to be my neighbor, by the way. He was asking me, and this is Juma. Juma, how are you? He also asked me about this device, and I told him it's a camera. I think it's not that popular here. Yes, yes. Even by the way, even me, I saw it for the first time when I went to Nyabawanse. And if you if you want to buy a GoPro in Kenya, you have to travel to Nairobi, the capital city. It's not very popular because I it's expensive actually. But 
you will be shocked when someone from the western world tells you that it is very very popular like you'll just find it in any electronic shop that being said guys you know actually when i i, I happen to have watched uh, someone's video just uh youtubers fellow youtubers uh, but from nebo answer this people like who are envious who are jealous of Mara, they keep talking bad about Mara. instead you know instead of talking bad about someone's land about anyone's property why don't you build yours build exactly like that one of Mara. instead of saying this house has been constructed like this like that and all that guys let's stop jealous and support the travel commando he introduced us to the world and we must forever be grateful for that opportunity if it wasn't uh, for him most of us wouldn't be known i wouldn't even have gotten the 3000 subscribers now and this guy that was talking um bullshit i uh, was being envious of the travel commando actually he should be thankful because right now he's at uh, a thousand plus subscribers and all those subscribers it's Maro introduced to them to the village because you know he was actually talking about uh oh my god stop pushing me he was actually talking about uh reporting the cases of uh people buying a lot of plants to the chief and i'm like oh my god you are this envious until you want to start um you want to start engaging the government about your friends, your fellow uh, men who are buying land within the villages. Oh my God. Oh my God. People are so jealous of Ayamara and his offsprings who are actually doing so well. And that's not a good thing. Be happy about your uh, friend. Be happy about your fellow YouTuber. And as I always believe, God's time is the best. You know, support them. Your time will come. It's only that God has said you need to wait. You know, God has a plan for everyone. So it's good if we support one another instead of trying to criticize everything. Even imagine complaining about YouTubers buying land and saying that you're going to involve... Uh, we have a police cruiser. I don't know what. Yeah, instead of complaining, why don't like the money is not even yours, and you are already complaining about people buying land. <laughs> people need to be serious, guys. Supporting one another is the best thing that can ever happen to all of us. Because suppose Marwa had refused to share his subscribers. Suppose Marwa had refused to empower Mayukno, empower Nasto, empower Maj, all these people. Suppose. Right now, we could only be knowing about Ayamara on without anything surrounding him. But because he is a very kind, uh, like he's extremely kind. By the way, Mara is a very kind person, like extremely kind. And he actually loves when other people also like uh, go up or develop themselves, like Mayugno, Nasto, Maja, and Burundian travel. All these people are offspring of so I am Marwa, and he will be blessed forever. And always empowerment that is something that you always like yearn from the leadership in place people whom we vote in and then we expect them to support us and when they get to that seat or when they are actually they are sworn in and take charge they start developing themselves instead of uh, solving or providing solutions for a problem because that's the work of a politician. I think we paid. Uh, we are in contact with the driver, but he has kept us for long here. So, guys, actually, you know, I was told that uh, when it comes to abroad, people use I don't know which kind of gas, like if actually it if actually you finish like it depends on the amount of money which you pay for like if you pay for maybe hundred dollars and then the hundred dollars gets finished 
it it automatically goes off. But for us, we don't do that. As we use uh, something that you call, I think it's a uh, liquid gas. I don't know if you can see the liquid gas. They're just like right here. So what happens with this liquid gas? <laughs> you when you are buying it for the first time, it's quite expensive, and then you go and use it. When it it gets finished, you do something that you call a refill. Actually, I think the only automatic system that we have uh, now is power. And for power, actually, it's not all the households which have them. We have something that we call, uh, we call tokens. Like, you'll pay maybe for 200 Kenyan shillings. When it gets finished, it switch, switch off. Yeah, that's what normally happens. So, guys, I want to call this driver again and then get to know where he is or how far he has reached. If he doesn't speak my call, then I'll know. <laughs> he's still, he's still trying to get customers, and it will be a bad timing for us because we should have stayed inside the house until at the time he calls us. Where are you? Are you ready? Then, yeah. But there is no problem. It's always good to be uh, to do something. So let me call him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the number is busy, like busy, busy. So, uh, guys, in the evening we have something which is very popular: street foods. But at the same time, we have this kind of cuts. So, my daughter wants a piece of pineapple, not a full, but. We normally have uh, jumbo, jumbo, jumbo. jumbo yeah, sasa. Ini pesanga pi? Bow, bow. Twenty Kenyan shillings. Twenty. Edu, unakula? Okay. Give us two. two. So this goes for twenty Kenyan shillings. What about this full one? One fifty and one eighty. Wow, one fifty and one hundred and eighty. Wow. Why are pineapples so expensive, my friend? Because they come from far. Oh, really? Yes. Pineapples do come. Where do where do we get our pineapples from, by the way? Uganda. Ah. This is from Uganda. This is from Uganda. So you mean we don't have uh, good pineapples here in Kenya? No. Oh my God. Why is everything coming from Uganda? Because Uganda, the soil is fertile. But, and they don't use uh, manure, they don't use uh, fertilizers. Yeah, I was told. Manure, not oh, they use manure and not fertilizers. Wow, wow. Like their land is actually um, fertile. fertile, naturally fertile. Yes. Oh my god. Because even oranges, we do get them from. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Kenya. Hey. How are we going to sort out these uh, foods? Sorry, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm trying to count uh, my balance. Yeah, 40 and then, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So for how long have you been doing your business? This business? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Around uh, 10 years. No, being on the road? Yes. Guys, he has been on the road for 10 years. But did you start with uh, the pineapple? Uh, with these pineapples. 10 years. For 10 years? Yeah. Wow. And this space for your kids, uh, your children's school fees, rent, or you have your own land? I, uh, I have my own. Oh, you have your own land? From well, this yeah. Land. yeah. Yeah? Hey, yes. wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Like you just sell, but I think you have several of them, right? Yeah. Like you've hired other people to go around? No. Only this one? Yes. And you bought land? Wow. Wow. I think I'll do a research about it. But again, you get tired walking and then pushing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I love the tricycle. Thank you. Am I nice to add it? It has three wheels. I think the driver is calling me. Yeah. Hello. Took up a stage. For Barabara. Took up a Barabara. Sinai. 
Yeah. Oh. Asante sana. I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. It's called Irene Adasco Jeff. Irene Adasco Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Wow. Guys, look at that kind of. I don't know. It's a wheelbarrow. Yeah, it's a modified wheelbarrow. But now it is easier because you don't have to lift it. You just push it. <laughs> we are seeing it that. <laughs> yeah, Kayla, she's saying a lot to his dad. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I think the car will come. Hey, do. Hey. You know me, I'm scared that you are going to skate. Will you be careful? Because yeah. you... Uh -huh. You know what I'm scared of? It's not even the vehicles, but the border borders. You know, those are not trained people. By the way, our border border guys here, they don't go to school. Like, they're just taught from by their friends. <laughs> they're just taught uh, by their friends, and then they just go on the road. So most of the accidents are from motorcycles, actually, and a lot of people have gotten, have gotten injured. People have become physically disabled because of uh, motorcycles. Wow. I hope you'll just take care. You don't go and over skate like in high speed so that you don't get hurt. Every time you put on this skate, remember that there is someone who doesn't know how to ride a border border so that you stay um, being alert. So in the evening, people actually like um, are from work they are going home and so, now sorry sorry no it's four it's already four i think it was three or it's me who was me let me confirm yeah yeah oh it's four no it's four four p.m yeah hey, do. Go and work hard, my cousin, okay? Go and work hard. You know, God has a plan for everyone, right? Cindy, go and work hard and all shall be well. You know, God has everyone's future. Now, for me, it's to just wish you all the very best. Now that you are joining a junior secondary. And guys, you know, I told him when actually he goes to school on Monday, he sends me what uh, is required to buy because for me, we can't know what the school needs. So he'll go and take care. Wait, wait. So from on Monday, he will actually go to school and then he will get to know what is needed and then he will send me and I will buy him school items. And the good thing now is that when you join junior secondary, you don't have to buy a new uniform, right? Or you have to buy a new uniform. Ah, from I add from this year, no buying of new school uniform, like different one. Like you have to have the same uniform, all of you. So I don't know if it's true, but he will let me. He will confirm. Uh, from I will confirm from him on Monday. So because I'll call my grandmother and then get to know. I will confirm. Yeah. 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 I'm just praying for the very best to you, to my cousin, you know. So we will miss you. <laughs> Actually, you know, Kayla is so used to you. <laughs> because he gives him a lot of attention. He, give her, he gives her a lot of attention. When Kayla wants to talk to him, he's there to listen. <laughs> anyway, Kayla, what I say do? She cried, she cried in the morning. My cousin is saying that uh, this thing, I don't know. The smoke, I don't know if it's the smoke. Like it smells like a fish. <laughs> so guys, you know, most people, when they buy brand new vehicles, they actually use it for long distance uh, journeys, like from one town to another. And then when it gets old, they now uh, put it to town service like this. So town service means like it will just carry you from maybe this place that you are in to town only. That's what, like you'll never see anybody buying a brand new car and then using it for a town service uh, 
they are called or you i don't know if i've actually like uh, done it well i think it's the drive i don't know if i explained that part well let me see i think it's the driver who is calling me oh my god why am i not seeing the call why am i not seeing the call oh my god what is happening here guys i'm being called and i can't see the call i can't see anything it is ringing my phone is ringing and i can't see anything oh my god what is happening hello i don't know oh yeah it's here hello sinai yes Sinai, Sinai, just can the stage. Yeah? The driver called me and he doesn't know the name of Yeah, like, like I'm telling him I'm in this particular stage, but he doesn't know the name. So one funny thing, you know, actually is from another place, another county, Chikbarini. So you see, like I'm in this stage, it has a different name here. When you just go like, you see, this point here, it has another name, it's a stage also. Back there, it is the church stage. In that tree there, another stage. So it's very confusing for someone who hasn't lived in this, uh, who has, or who has not been in this area for so long. So that's the situation here. But it's not so complicated like uh, living in Nairobi. In Nairobi, it's something else. Guys, you know, people are wondering, hey, what is this lady doing? Talking to himself, talking to... I even forgot and called myself himself. <laughs> talking to herself. Wow, what is this burning? Fish. They are burning fish. People are living for home. Yeah. I hope I've not said that for so long. And it's drizzling, but you can't feel... Uh, you can't feel the rain. Much, but it's, it's, it's a bit cold. My friends are looking at me. Sasa, <laughs> let me say hello to them. Sasa, Mkopwa. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sasa dere, si duka ba ni alka metko ni alka metu pigia, ha? Oh, yeah, I think it's dere. Okay, duka na bagi tu apa? Yeah, the vehicle is already yeah. there. Do? Ah, only him. I hope there is space for him. Yeah. I hope there is space for him. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least. I don't. Let me see. Sorry, sorry. Whoa. Atina Fasia Keiko Api. Sasa? Wow. Nani? Ika Mutia Tambaj. Guys, this vehicle is full. Hey. So guys, I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, guys, we need to request, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't want to I don't want you people to harass him. Asante, asante. Guys, this car is full. Hey, this driver. Okay, let me see you. One, two, three. Can I talk about a barra? So I need to give the driver my uncle's uh, number. Oh, now what can you pay number? What can you put to me a number? What can you put to Guys, you know when it comes to electricity, 
I normally uh, hear people asking, are you connected to two phase, three phase? And today, kindly, I'm seeing this first two. Is that a two phase? And then when you go to this other one, four, and then up here, one, two, three, three. Like, I just kindly educate me. Do we also have a four phase uh, when it comes to electricity? guys we are back we've been walking from this other end it's very far you can't even see the end of this road and now we are adding sasa major we are adding back uh, to the house unfortunately this road actually is not categorized uh, it is not in that category where the government can actually do anything because it leads to actually uh, people's homes. So it's up to the owners of these uh, houses along this route to actually like come together and maybe ensure that the road is fixed. But now, now getting people to work together is always something else because you know, people love to sit agree how much they are going to uh, contribute of course the landowners not uh, the tenants and then now they can actually call a contractor to fix the road because you can see from the end we have actually another land like it has it is fenced so it means that um, it is a public a public road but again it's not uh, the work of the government to like repair it okay we do have categories then we do have categories uh which the government can actually like uh, repair or fix it and normally you will know about it like it has a true way it is not closed at any point but for us here you see it's been uh, closed at the further end there, meaning that uh, that point is someone's uh, land. But if it will have been going like the street and then me to the another road. Oh, today I got the right key. I normally struggle, but today I am very lucky. So, if you live in such uh, areas, definitely, you are going to, it is upon you as landowners to sit and think of how you are going to fix it. But if you live along a route or a road where it is open on both ends, then you are very, very lucky like extremely lucky because uh, the government at some point can fix it for you my only problem today is school uniforms guys because hey i don't know if they're going to if it's going to dry the jumpers i don't know <laughs> this is the second time i'm coming here <laughs> wow if the weather keeps uh, remaining like this, even for tomorrow, then bad luck for us. Because right now, I can show you the time. <laughs> and these uniforms are supposed to be worn on Monday. Check at the time. So even uh, if the sun would have been there, like by 4 p.m 5 p.m there it will be setting so that it wouldn't be it will not have been that uh, strong guys <laughs> but you know what i'm going to do i'll just uh take them uh i have my, my daughter's uh dress there and the sweaters so those are the most important things what i'll do actually is hang them hang them Tell Kijana to open the door. So I'll just come and hang them uh, here so that at least they can get the breeze. And then as long as it has drink the water, we are good to go. Then we just pray for tomorrow uh, for the sun to come out. And it comes out really strong. 
you know otherwise otherwise we will have to look for a plan b and that plan b i don't even have it in mind so guys that is it for today kindly consider uh, subscribing to my channel and just to say a very good company so we, i left my son inside here he didn't want to go now we have to knock i don't know is he concentrating like three much on the tv Niban, that you can't actually hear us knocking the door uh, so guys this is what i meant when i said that i was going to hang um, the school uniform here but uh, definitely i'll not leave it like overnight here you know because they might fall down on sometimes uh, people forget to close the gate like to lock it so you'll find that maybe a dog comes in and they sleep on the cloth if they fall down here so it's in the evening and it's time to get uh, things moving like just take them inside the house but probably for the clothes these clothes here i'm just going to leave it outside yeah because they're actually clothes which are worn at home so i just want to take these uh inside the house yeah it's in the evening actually and i've not even uh, yet started editing my video this uh, particular video is going out today 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 it's 5 p.m i've not even uh, yet started editing it so guys if you are uh, joining us all eh? so if you are joining us now kindly consider subscribing so probably i love to take this inside also yeah the day it has been uh, raining with no sun yeah there has been no sun today actually so i'm not worried about clothes that are worn at home not worried at all yeah this is it just to check them inside yeah yeah but definitely tomorrow if uh, the weather is going to be just like this then i love to actually oh I'll, I'll see if it reaches around uh, 9 p.m and it looks like it's going to rain i'll just uh, put all these clothes uh, inside here and then now put them or actually uh, bring them out here tomorrow that's uh, how I normally operate especially during the rainy season you know this is not a rainy season now it's january it's a dry season but normally during the rainy season in august and july and june that's this is how we operate you wash like if it still has some water like this just put them in a bucket take them out the following day and but during rainy seasons it takes almost three or four days uh to dry yeah i don't know how long it's going to rain <laughs> this time but actually it never happens like this january has a lot of solar but the sky is not clear it's not clear at all so i just want to uh maybe prepare supper uh, earlier later on start editing my videos and then yeah just like that and the day ends so kindly kindly consider uh, subscribing i want to close this you know it's not safe for children if it's left open especially if you have a young kid who doesn't know how to communicate and all that so now this is the disadvantages uh, or the disadvantage of living in a place where we are so many but if you live alone you can easily manage this by locking but if you are many even if you try to lock it you see you can actually lock it but now 
you can we can lock it and put the key maybe yeah. but the problem is you know some people forget like we might decide to lock but the next person that comes to fetch water they forget to lock or even misplaces the key so that's one of the challenges but if you are alone like if you are in your own compound you can manage that because you know it's only you and your people but if you live in a rental apartment that's going to be a bit of challenge but we thank god that we sensitized uh, all the kids that such places are very dangerous places and you are not even allowed to sit around there and we are so thankful yeah because we, we must always be careful when it comes to children so guys until next time or tomorrow bye bye thank you so much for being here